Hi everyone and welcome back to today's more Report with me Richard Perry, Market Analyst at Handtech Markets on Thursday the 7th of August. Moving on to Sterling Dollar now and Sterling Dollar just continues to really be um, fairly struggling in terms of uh, a recovery. Uh, yesterday's move we saw a, um, an outside day which certainly has piled the um, oh, sorry uh, outside day on the downside and that certainly looks to be piling the pressure back on um, back on the bulls. The um, the there's very little appetite really to push this one higher um, and uh, certainly that 68 uh, 90 resistance that we've hit continues to act as a barrier to the gains um, that has been fairly strong over the past few days uh, that resistance so uh, we c that continues to remain the case and and um, the with the uh, technical indicators really just suggesting sideways movement at best at the moment for for cable I think um, it's it just looks like it's uh, just rolling over once more, going to put pressure back on the downside again. 68, uh, 10 there thereabouts is the uh, is the is the support, and that was the uh, the key low from uh, the uh, 4th of August. Now it it just looks like um, with all these longer term indicators now turning, uh, now being broken um, in terms of the uh, the. The uh, bullish uptrends have all been broken. The uh, the 89-day moving average has also been broken, and the the uh, and cable is really struggling to get back above that moving average as well. I think it just just goes to show that um, with these momentum indicators all pushing into bearish configuration, no real um, no real appetite for any buying on cable. I think it's it just looks like it's going to be pressurising lower. Uh, in due course. Now underneath that 68.10 you're looking at 67.37 and underneath that you're looking back at uh, the 60.690 um, area so there's uh, a lot of key levels that uh, still remain uh, untested on this uh, on this cable chart and e even even in the course of the um, of the uh, the correction you're still if you draw in uh, a downtrend you had a slight breach you could argue there but certainly that there is still a trend of lower trading on this on this um, cable chart and uh, this reaction that we had in the last couple of days is returned just to that downtrend so the resistance remains there and uh, I think the pressure certainly is for cable to be pulled to the downside it looks like anyway um, the uh, Bank of England meets today. Uh, that doesn't tend to have too much of an impact on this chart, purely because the Bank of England continues to remain pretty steadfast in its um, consensus view uh, of holding interest rates at 0.5%. Um, uh, although the minutes in a couple of weeks' time from that meeting could well have an impact, because it may well show that uh, there is the uh, possibility of some beginning... Um, beginning to a bit of a dissension through that uh, voting structure but still at the moment um, it looks like at 12 o'clock today there's going to be no real movement on this uh, on this monetary policy and uh, subsequently dub, um, cable will not really be impacted by it. Uh, weekly jobs claims at 1.30 could have an impact certainly if, um, if they are uh, distinctly um, different from the 305 that it's expected but uh, until those announcements I wish you good luck in your trading and I will speak to you later thank you